Friday, we brought you part one of a special report after the burns. The story of a 43-year-old wife and mother, seriously burned as a child, now finding the beauty in her confidence today. She won the People's Choice Award at the Fashion Has No Boundaries Every Woman competition in Calgary. AGN's Dean Muse says it's another feather in her scrapbook. Kelly Filardo has been able to look in the mirror beyond multiple years of operations and see a beauty that's more than skin deep. We were burning garbage because we had a burning barrel at that time. And we were, um, my cousins were throwing singles and the fire spark came out and landed on my dress. And the way I blew up. So, um, yeah, so I got burnt to 75% of my body. So, uh, all on my face, all on my whole chest, and round to my back and my legs and my arms. And I've got a bald spot in the back of my head. And uh, they said the only thing that saved me was that I was wearing a wet diaper at the time. Mom and daughter Alexana share a unique bond of learning through all of these life struggles. Starting with the birth of each of her children, Kelly's had to face a lot of growing and learning, and her daughter helps her on a daily basis. Before I even knew if we could have kids, um, I actually often wondered if my daughter would look like me. Because, you know, because of my scars, I've never known myself any different. So I don't, I don't really feel like I know what I would look like if I didn't have scars. And so it's actually been quite interesting because I always wonder, you know, does she look like me? Is this, is this, is she who I would look like if I didn't have scars? Well, I, I guess what I want her to do is, is to accept everybody, no matter what they look like, and not judge the book by the cover. She has been an inspiration on me, and she doesn't back down on stuff, like the scrapbooking store thing. Her scars didn't stop her from doing anything. Yeah. Dreams for a blessed and successful life, a happy, healthy family, and a new growing scrapbooking business keep each day fresh beyond all the challenges. Um, I am one of these people that, you know, again, it's all about the dream and it's all about the passion. And when I have the passion for something, I don't let anything stop me. And so I had talked to my husband about, what do you think about doing a mobile scrapbook store? And he said, that's brilliant. Do it. When are you starting? And I was like, are you kidding? How am I going to do that? I don't know how I'm going to do that. But uh, we converted like a 1,200 square foot sto you know, store into a cube van. And so we found ways to display, you know, the paper and the, and the products and everything. And, and, you know, and, you know, my husband built it and I had to market it, do the website and, you know, and I had no idea people were going to accept what I was doing because there was no model for me to follow. Like there was no other business, business model out for that. So, you know, we sunk 50 grand into it and thought, okay, let's, let's make sure this works. So, <laughs> and it's just been a blast. We've just had a great time with it. So, it 